Uh, this is Eric Miskell of Charlie Barnhart and Associates here in Munich, Germany at Electronica 2012. I'm joined here this morning by Walt Custer of Custer Consulting Group. <coughs> uh, invited Walt to kind of come and uh, join me for a discussion today. We're surrounded by EMS companies of all sizes and shapes uh, from various countries here and I thought it a good opportunity to invite Walt who provides a lot of just an incredible breadth of information on the electronics industry to come in and talk with me about the EMS industry in, in particular. So, well, why don't we just start by, you know, um, maybe you can introduce yourself and tell, uh, you know, tell us about the kind of some leading indicators to the EMS industry. Yeah, you know, we track the whole electronic supply chain and, and you can't, in my opinion, you can't start just at EMS. You got to talk about what's happening with the economy and, and electronic equipment demand because that derives uh, EMS demand. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, I've been speaking at, at, at Electronica, and my, about my third slide says, please don't shoot the messenger, because it's a very difficult time here right yeah. now. Not only is the world in the bottom of a business cycle, but Europe is in worse shape yet. Mm -hmm. For the economies, it's all the things we've read about Europe. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it's not in a growth mode right now. So it, it's very difficult to uh, give a, an uplifting talk on right. the EMS industry at a time when times are tough. But what you do look, look is when things will start to turn around. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've looked at industrial production and electronic equipment demand as drivers to e, the um, EMS business. And uh, this quarter, electronic equipment production worldwide will be down about 1%, and in Europe it's going to be down 5% or something like that. So it, it's tough. Uh, we're seeing the EMS, we track the EMS, the large companies, and they've had four quarters of negative growth mm -hmm. globally. Uh, where the ODM companies, if you want to call them a separate group of companies, have been growing except this quarter they went like minus half a percent. So the world is feeling the slowdown. Yeah. So what, we, what you will start looking for now is when will it turn again? And we've been using leading indicators to try and predict that. Uh, we're starting to see Asia turn up again finally. Mm -hmm. North America, the uh, purchasing managers index has been up for the last couple of months mm -hmm. and that leads the EMS business by about two months. So we're starting to see signs of a recovery in North America a and Southeast Asia. Now Southeast Asia has been hurt because their exports have dropped because Europe and North America aren't buying. But we're starting to see something happen. So to predict when the EMS business will pick up again, as I said, it's been four quarters of negative growth worldwide mm -hmm. for it, uh, but we should, I would think, by early next year, get back into a growth mode again. Uh, the ODM, next year being, are you 213 two, or 14? Two, no, 2013. Okay. Uh, the ODM companies have a dip, kind of a different business cycle because a lot of them build consumer-related products, whether it's a cell phone or a computer or, a, or a entertainment or the like. They have a very strong uh, what they call their busy season, which is August through uh, November. Right. And this year's busy season has been very muted. It's down about 7% versus the same period a year before. So even though there's a month-on-month uh, -month re growth compared to the prior year, mm -hmm. it's not very impressive yet. So, so, yeah, so where do you see, you know, so that people understand, where does Foxconn fit? I mean, they're the big gorilla, right? Whether yeah. you put them in EMS and, or ODM. You know, we actually have them in both our statistics, mm -hmm. but when I look at what EMS growth, the numbers I quoted for you, I had taken Foxconn mm -hmm. out because they have tend to outgrow the traditional EMS companies. Mm -hmm. like, so uh, I would put them as an ODM company if I was comparing the two di different growth rates, but they are kind of a hybrid animal in my yeah. opinion, and uh, you have to, have to shift across. Yeah. So, uh, so, you know, when I said don't shoot the messenger, the messenger right now is saying times are still tough. Right. We're seeing very tenuous signs of recovery early next mm -hmm. year, but I wouldn't bet my life on it yet. Right. Uh, the, you know, the growth rates predicted for next year up a couple of percent where they were down a couple of percent mm -hmm. this year worldwide. So yeah. uh, that's where we are. You know, what's been noticeably absent, I know you don't do this, but and you've probably noticed this too, is that, you know, the traditional five-year forecasts of the EMS industry aren't there anymore. You know, there, there are very few people, which to me indicates that people are, are unsure as to what's happening there with that industry. And, um, you know, I know that you don't size it in any such thing. You reflect those provided by others, right? Yeah, well, I mean, we size it some because we track the financials of these companies. The way we assess the size of markets is add up all the players mm -hmm. and, and look at their quarterly growth, assuming they're publicly traded, right. and we can get that. And in the case of the ODM companies, 
they report monthly right. because most of them are Taiwan mm -hmm. listed. Mm -hmm. So you can get monthly growth rates. So that's how we assess the market. But we don't spend a lot of time on five-year forecasts. We're more looking yeah. at the next couple of yeah. months yeah. and when the business, you know, and the yeah. business cycles. Yeah. We're very interested in the interrelation between EMS and semiconductors and yeah. passive components and printer wiring boards and the like. Yeah. And they're all pretty much coincident. The only thing that lags significantly is capital equipment and that lags by six months from the non-capital, mm -hmm. capex type uh, mm -hmm. companies. So for you, it's the cap one of the primary leading indicators is the capital equipment. What no, 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 they're a lagging indicator. Okay, so it's the it's the semiconductor. That no, I, I don't look at any of those. I look at purchasing managers indices as a leading indicator. Okay. And they lead then uh, industrial production, printer wiring boards, electronic equipment, EMS companies, passive components. Okay. They all lead that by a couple of months. The okay. capital equipment intensive things, like semi-capex semi mm -hmm. and, and assembly and the like, okay. they're about six months behind in okay. the business cycle. Okay. So the leading indicator for them would give it, you know, like a six to eight month lead time on their business. Okay. So that, that becomes very useful. That's enough to actually do some planning. Oh yeah, no, precisely right. Yeah. And even the five-year forecast, you know, a year out is is an educated guess. Five it's years straight is line voodoo it, magic. You, you, you know? straight so, line yeah. it after that. That's the best yeah, you can I mean, do. You can because the, it cycles like this. Right. And and you know I think anything after a year you're just with better with a straight yeah. line forecast, historical yeah. forecast. Okay. And I appreciate what you said about don't shoot the messenger because I mean we're here at Productronica, we're surrounded by mostly sales and marketing people, so there tends to be some 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 optimism yes. <laughs> that that we're hearing all around us. But the reality is, as you're indicating, that there's still very very tough times. Now, if somebody would like a copy of the presentation they've yeah. got, if you send an email to Walt at CusterConsulting.com, I'll send you the presentation with all the charts, yeah. so you can look at some of this data yourself, uh, and uh, you know you can actually get the data and then use your own company, mm -hmm. EMS, whatever you are, and plot it against this data to see how you are in the business cycle versus the other industry business cycles that are going on there. So it'll give you some indication. You should be turning it, you know, there's typ typically a group of companies that you'll behave the same way and you'll turn at the same time. Mm -hmm. And if you're not doing that, then you're either gaining or losing market share or something is yeah. happening. Very good, very good. Nice offer, thank you. And uh, well, listen, I appreciate you spending some time with us today, Walt. Always a pleasure to see you. It was well, thank you. It was, it was nice to hopefully, come in Munich. Hopefully, it'll be under more uplifting terms next, next year. Next time around. Yeah. Next time around. Well, thank you very much, Walt. You're appreciate welcome. It. To get you here quickly, you should start from here and let us take care of everything in between. Flextronics SBS. Innovative Manufacturing Services.